He's innocent. Get up! Hey, what are you doing? Let's jump on this bitch. Oh, shit. Get out of my way. Okay, that was all for nothing. What do we do? Tell all personnel, hold your fire. I repeat, hold your fire. What's going on? The cops. They're out there. They have the building surrounded. They'll shoot you if you go outside. I'll go out alone. I'll talk to them. I'll explain. No. You'll be dead before you can open your mouth. Look. We'll all go out together, with, with our hands in the air, and they can't possibly shoot us. I have the evidence that proves your innocence. Listen, I'm sorry I didn't trust you. I was only thinking about Sean, and I thought... That's okay. The only thing that matters is that you saved your son. Yeah, but we need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, shit. The fuck? God, shit. I done fucked up bad. Hey, hey, they cheated me there. They made me press it twice. We still be alive. I am highly upset, guys. He died. Oh well. weird. No face. Just loading. Norman Jaden's dead. The assholes got away. Scott Shelby's alive. He's worth the killer. Save the kid. <sighs> Guys, I might have to play this game over again. Four heroes. There was general Heavy relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Organic Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. It is no doubt due to his great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the Oregani killer. The police commissioner presented him with an official apology today. Our main headline today, it is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the Oregani killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Despite a citywide manhunt, Shelby has not yet been apprehended. Shit, Police away. are now mounting a nationwide operation in an effort to arrest him. Unfortunately, the investigation has cost the life of Norman Jaden, the FBI profiler oh. working on the case. Oh, well. Jaden was killed while trying to arrest the origami killer in circumstances that remain unclear. A full police investigation is pending. That guy looks weird while he's doing the news. Kind of creepy. Let's just say a friend of a friend let me jump in line. If we like it, it's ours. They ended up together. I think Sean likes it. Hey, Dad! I think I found my room! Well, what do you think? It's perfect, Ethan. We'll be able to forget what happened. We'll lead a normal life. And one day, it'll all just seem like a bad dream. We've earned the right to be happy now, Ethan. 
all three of us. <laughs> it's a sad and happy ending. He's being buried in two days in some godforsaken hole in I the back end of beyond near Washington. I have to attend as a matter of protocol. I'll pass. Jane and I didn't see eye to eye on much. No problem. I understand. Hey, sir. I still have his glasses. What should I do with them? Well, we won't be needing them again. Do whatever you want with them. I wouldn't put them on if I were you. <laughs> What's gonna happen now? It begins how it ends, a killer on the loose. I want you to die. Guys. I want to see them again. I'm a father too. Oh shit. Showing shit that could have happened. Come and let this roll for a little while longer. 